So hello guys and welcome here to a new video and today we are going to talk a bit about Squall and their ongoing loyalty program which is kind of similar to the one that Blast is actually providing and today we are having a look on how you actually can get yourself some points as well as what might be upcoming in the next few weeks and if that sounds something you would like to watch well I suggest you should leave a like comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot and also make sure to join the discord link for that in the description down below and we got here an announcement from scroll itself which pretty much stated that they are going to do a loyalty program where you are getting scroll marks for bridging over your ethereum and also um, web staked ethereum as well as stone if i'm not completely mistaken and for that there are currently two bridges that are eligible to bridge over to first of all obviously the scroll native bridge then we have the bridge from stone as well as layer zero and for that that's pretty good because if you use layer zero you pretty much will also qualify for the second snapshot of layer zero and again how you can bridge over it's fairly simple if you are going to use the native bridge well again it will be a bit more costly simply because you can only bridge over from ethereum over onto scroll again nevertheless if you're going to do that you just come over onto the side from scroll pretty much press the deposit to scroll and you will see that it's from ethereum to scroll so for that you are going to bridge over your ethereum and it's fairly simple we've done one transaction with the official bridge back in the past and yeah that pretty much already guarantees us that we had some sort of tokens during that time and again depending on how much you are depositing it will vary how much you are going to make regarding the loyalty program and i think obviously the earlier you are the more benefits you are getting so again if you have ethereum ready and you want to participate in the school airdrop i think it's the best to deposit in the first phase of the loyalty program because in the upcoming weeks they have planned as you can see right here um, that they are going to be making a few more sessions and again they will pretty much do other incentivize so we don't know what that could be either depositing some on different platforms or just getting yourself some volume it's up to them to actually decide that and again it's looking very good for scroll in my opinion because this gives an incentivize for people actually to come over onto scroll simply because they are not speculating on getting nothing now we know you get a certain amount of marks for bridging over your funds and that pretty much also drives more users to the blockchain which again is in my opinion well worth it if you want to farm it again the next bridge that you can use is the stone bridge and this bridge is pretty much powered by layer zero so if you are using that you are pretty much getting two in one as you know again the more efficient you are farming an airdrop the better it is and if you can get two airdrops with simply using one application well i think it's definitely the best to use that nevertheless i would recommend at least using scroll bridge once in your time and for the future if you pretty much just want to bridge over depending if you want to use different contracts you also could use stargate you could use orbiter all the different bridges that we saw in the past are pretty much able to transfer your funds over and again we don't know if you are getting the scroll marks for using those bridges because they actually stated that if you are holding the ethereum on the scroll network you will be credited those marks so it's hard to say if it's only for the ethereum that you bridged over those bridges to scroll or if it's also for the ethereum that you already are holding on scroll so that's definitely something that we don't know for sure at the moment at least i don't know it for sure because there is not a dashboard yet to check if you are getting scroll marks for ethereum which came from other bridges again it's also a bit hard to determine where the ethereum came from nevertheless 
that's definitely one thing to keep an eye on because we know already for Blast how it's looking like. Again, depending obviously on Squall, there might not be a thing as Blast Gold and Points, for example, as they are going to split the airdrop in two. Blast is again, they are a bit different. I think Squall will make it a bit more simpler regarding that. And I think in the upcoming weeks, we could see some sort of multiplier or at least an um, bonus regarding different assets that you bridge over onto Squirrel, simply because that also helps their ecosystem itself to grow. Nevertheless, that's pretty much it for today. There's nothing besides bridging over and just holding the funds over if you're farming the Squirrel marks. We are not really sure about if transaction itself will count towards an airdrop at the moment or even the scroll nft that you could have minted if you deployed a contract before the 24th december i think because there was also an nft that you could have minted and yeah we don't know if that will play a factor in the airdrop but at least what you can do is still get yourself volume because that never really hurts and for that you can use protocols such as SyncSwap, for example, we talked about that one a lot in uh, the ZK Sync videos. It's fairly simple, it's the same as on the Uniswap where you are pretty much going to exchange Ethereum for USDC or other tokens that you want and then you get yourself your volume up as well as the transactions and simply the on-chain presence which could play a factor regarding the airdrop simply because they didn't state anything about the airdrop itself regarding that post we just know that there will be scroll marks and again uh, here we'll see there will be more ways to obtain those scroll marks and i think also one thing uh, which could be very important is supplying liquidity in the past as we know it's always important for a protocol to have a lot of liquidity because the more liquidity a protocol itself holds, the more weights are attracted to it because they can swap without actually losing funds. Because if there's only 10 Ethereum, for example, in the pool and you want to swap 5 Ethereum, well, the price impact of that will be around like 20 or 30 percent. And then people obviously don't want to come over onto your blockchain. Nevertheless, that's not the case for scroll, even though it's not the biggest blockchain it is in my opinion still underrated when it comes to like people farming the airdrop itself it's not like zk sync where everyone pretty much is already uh, invested in since like two to three years depending on when you actually found out about zk sync scroll is a bit newer and a bit less invested regarding the funding nevertheless for their funding it's still a very good project and I think scroll will be similar to ZK Sync regarding the value that you are getting for the airdrop simply because there is a bit less of a user base at the moment but yeah that's pretty much it for scroll I hope in the future we are going to talk a bit more about the scroll marks uh, when we know more and have a dashboard because yeah, at the moment there's I don't think any way that you can check how many scroll marks you already have or how much you are getting per hour as long as I'm aware, it might be that it's already out when I made the video, but I don't think that's the case. Nevertheless, I don't want to make the video too long. Um, it's fairly simple. So yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.